PHP provides very many functions for manipulating strings, which can be very, very helpful when building an application. In this lecture, you will learn about some of these functions and understand their applications. All right, to begin, we're going to start with the function that helps us to determine the length of a string. So I'm going to declare a string here. The value is equal to University of East London. So we have the string University of East London. To get the length of the string, PHP gives us a very useful function which is called string length. So if I say echo, strlen, and then pass it the variable which contains a string, this is essentially going to give me the length of the string that is stored in this variable. So this function, string length, strlen, gives us the length of strings. So here it tells me the length is 25. Okay, another useful one is called uc words. Okay, so what this function does is essentially takes the string and then converts the first letter in each of the word in the string to uppercase. So in this case, university u, the first u will be uppercase, of o will be uppercase, e in east will be uppercase, L in London will be uppercase. So let's do a refresh. Now you see, University of East London. And then there's also another one, which is called UC First. So what this does is only convert the first letter to uppercase. So the very first character in the string, which in this case will be U in university, will be converted to uppercase. Let's refresh. There you see, just U is converted to uppercase. So these are very, very useful functions. So right now you've already learned about three of these. The first one is string length. And then the second one is UC words. And then the third one is UC first. Another useful function is the one that allows us to get the number of words in this particular string. So as you can see from here, University of East London, there are four words in this string. So PHP also gives us a function that allows us to easily get this number. So I'm going to remove the echo from all of this. Then I'm going to say echo. This function is called str underscore words underscore count. So this is going to give me a number representing the number of words in this string. Come over here and then do a refresh. It tells me there are four words in that string. Another useful one is the function that allows us to search for a particular test within a string. So for example, I want to search for the word of inside of this string. So PHP allows me to do this using a function called strpos. So what string post does is actually takes a value which represent the string that we want to search and then what we want to search for inside of the string. So the first argument is the string which we want to search in and then what do we want to search? I want to search for this inside the string. String pool will also return a number. It will return the numeric position of where this search key is found within the string. So let's say I have another off here. It's going to return the numeric position of the first occurrence, which is this one, this first off that is here before the east. So let's do a refresh on the browser. Then it tells me that is position 11. So from position 11, we have the string off, which corresponds to what we are setting for here. So if we say east and then do a refresh, it's going to give us 14. Okay, so we can also just search for one character. Say E, where's the first occurrence of E in the string? Tells us the first occurrence of E in the string is in the fourth position. All right, so the next one I want to show you is what if we want to replace a specific string inside of a string? So I want to search for a specific test and then replace it within a given string. So to do this in PHP, there's another function which is str underscore replace. So essentially string replace is going to take 
three arguments at the most basic level. This is actually more complex than this. The first is, what do you want to replace? I want to replace of with what? With in. Where? Inside of this string. Okay, so it's very pretty straightforward. I want to replace this with this inside of here. So inside of this string, look for of and then replace it with in. Okay, so let's do an echo, and then refresh on the browser. You can see university in East London in. So because we have two occurrence of the word of inside of the string, both of them actually replace. So this essentially helps you to replace the occurrence of the given test within a string. So even if it occurs in 1000 places, uh, PHP is going to actually search for it and replace it with whatever you specify. So if I don't want to replace with anything, so I can just leave this as an empty string so that if I do a refresh now, I'm going to remove it entirely. All right. So the next one that I want to show you is to reverse a string. So let's do a new line. Remove the echo from this. And then we say st arrow rep. Okay. So this is to reverse a string. And the only argument that we need to give to this will be the string that we want to reverse. Refresh. You can see it's actually uh, reverse the string for us. So there are a lot of uh, functions that PHP provides us to manipulate strings. You can actually just go to the PHP manual, php.net slash ref underscore strings. So if you actually go to this page in PHP manual, you will see a lot more functions that you can use to manipulate string. So what I just show you now, just the basic ones, few of them actually.